Madam Chairman, just to say, uh, just to say I will not be supporting the motion. I just want to quickly explain my reasoning. Uh, one of my concerns originally, what was the purpose of this bill? Why are we actually looking at this? And I will say that I was impressed with um, Mr. Adams' uh, explanation, and that uh, was very helpful to understand. I, and I believe that the intent was sincere in trying to simplify and streamline in that regard. But there are some things in this bill that do concern me. Um, I am concerned about um, LEAs, uh, multiple charters being under one LEA, um, unlimited number of charters under one LEA, and the basically making it removing and most the obstacles you know, for transferring charters. I mean, you can, it creates a, a framework where you could literally have one LEA with 100 charters in it or more, not, not overnight, but over time. And I'm concerned what that looks like. I'm also concerned about um, money or resources from the State Department of Education essentially now trying to support what is essentially a private enterprise, a privately owned entity, uh, making them better. We don't do that for other businesses in the private sector. Um, so uh, I don't think that everything in this bill is bad, but I do think there are some things here that give me cause of concern. I just want to say one other thing, too. Uh, I absolutely support charter schools. I mean, and there are a lot of constituents in my district that send their kids to charter schools, and they're great charter schools. My concern is not charter schools. My concern is the process and the rules and the rigor that we put in place to make sure that they are, in fact, um, uh, what, they, what, uh, what the public should expect. So. Uh, with that, uh, I'll be casting my vote accordingly. Thank you.